Sarah is the vicar of a church in a town in southwest England. She lives in a cul-de-sac close to the main road. There is social housing at the end of her cul-de-sac. During May half term last year, 2019, she noticed from her window there was a large Afro-Caribbean man outside the vicarage. She thought it a bit unusual for two reasons. Although there was a good ethnic mix in the town, there were not many Afro-Caribbeans. And also he didn't seem to be going anywhere. He was just walking up and down. In conversation with her neighbours, she realised that several others had noticed the man too. But they said he always seemed very polite when they walked past. However, that same week she discovered a group of people in the back of her churchyard shooting up. Previously she'd found needles in the churchyard, but until then she'd never actually caught anyone there. The churchyard is quite secluded, with many large trees providing cover for the drug users. She gave them five minutes to leave the premises. A few days later she spotted the Afro-Caribbean man actually in the church grounds this time, and there were others there too. The police were called. The man didn't have anything on him at the time, he was too smart, but the police turned their attention to the social housing at the end of the cul-de-sac. One of the houses was searched and drugs were found. The house was inhabited by a young woman in her twenties who was a drug user. She'd been cuckooed. Drug dealers were using the house as a base and the churchyard was being used as the place for the dealing to be done and the runners to come on their bikes to pick up their drugs before dispatching them. Sarah came out of the church one morning to discover what she describes as a kerfuffle in the churchyard. A young lad, a teenager, had been roughed up with a knife. Again, the police came. The council then proceeded to try to evict the young woman, but because of tenancy laws, it took several months to get her out. For a while she disappeared, but she gave her keys to a drug dealer who continued to use the premises. This is not a story as such. It's a situation that's being replicated all over the country. Sarah says it's quiet at the moment, but she knows that cuckooing is rife in her town. Sarah's advice to the church is, be aware, but don't get involved personally. Report suspected crime on the website rather than phone in. It gets logged and the police can build up a picture. Don't be naive and think it's not happening in your neighbourhood. Keep your eyes and ears open and report it. Sarah's last point is, at one time there seemed to be a muted code of honour in the criminal world, not to involve kids. Those days have gone.